Talking about his uh, recent publication, and Bill on my website, we rate, we waive books. We are, we are sure we're going to help stem the tide of anti-book reading. So I waive books, and we have the author here to help uh, us understand his new work, um, some of the themes, um, the process he used. Um, and help us, I guess, get a little under, uh, a standing, uh, understanding of the journey he, um, he took. Um, Brock, would you like to uh, give a little bio of yourself? And, uh, okay. Um, I spent about 50 years of my life in a career of scientific research and engineering development. Uh, mainly in the areas of infrared, uh, lasers, and human vision. Uh, but as I got closer to retirement, there were things that came up in my life that I'd wanted to do forever. And one of them was telling a particular story uh, that you'll hear a little bit about today. Uh, so that's what I started doing seriously, probably about six or seven years ago. So six or seven years ago, you were still um, working full time. You had cares of a was. and a house and all of that. And I had so I was talking to one of uh, my my uh, collaborators, content creators, and they're engaged with uh, the task of book writing. And specifically, they wanted to ask you, how did you carve out that time? What was your uh, you know, how did you well, do my, uh, this kind of gets into why I'm even writing. I didn't really have to carve out that time. <laughs> I did not, I did not want to write a novel. A lot of authors can think back to when they were four or five years old and say, the very first time I put a pencil to a piece of paper, I knew I was going to grow up to be an author someday. Well, that isn't my story. Um, I was writing a blog at the time, and I started going to a local writer's critique group to learn more about it and just improve my writing. And as I did, a lot of the people in the group were already novelists. They had either published books or were about to. So I was starting to rub elbows with people that were doing an entirely different thing than I was. And I started to ask them things about, well, how do you write dialogue? This seems like a really mysterious thing to me. Uh, how long did it take you to write a novel? Things of that sort. And when I found out more and more of the details of it, I was more convinced than ever that I didn't want to write a novel. And what happened was that uh, one of the ladies... Uh, she pretty much led the group. She was also a poet as well as a novelist. And before Christmas break, she gave us each a copy of her published uh, book of poetry. So over the Christmas break, I started reading these poet poems. And one particularly grabbed my attention emotionally. And I just could not get over that thing. I read it and read it and read it. And it was just emotionally difficult. Well, the next time we met, she actually performed this poem. And that just destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, the only way that I can stop thinking about this thing is to write about it. So I wrote something that wasn't a novel. And it wasn't even directly connected to her book. And I sent it off to her. And I said, see what you did to me? And she said, well, that's great that my work inspired something in somebody else. And I thought I was done with it. But two or three days later, scenes from this story kept, I would wake up at three o'clock in the morning and scenes would be going across my mind like I was watching a video or a movie. And then I'd come home at night 
and I would think the only way I'm going to get rid of this is to write it. So over, and I was working 40 hours of work uh, a week at that time. And at the end of six months, I found that I had written 110,000 word, uh, like a 500 page novel. So I didn't really carve out the time. That's kind of a long answer to what you're asking. Uh, but it's much to do with my journey as an author. I was not looking to write a novel, but in fact, God had different plans for me than I did in that respect. That's uh, still an unpublished book. Uh, the book that you saw here earlier is really my second novel. So, so sorry, to, sorry to make that so long, but I, I think it really, it really can show you how you can enter the ranks of being an author in all kinds of different and unexpected ways. Now we like going around here, we like going into fundamental concepts, ideas and whatnot. And no, it, it is worth uh, taking the time to, um, to flesh it out. It's not often a, um, uh, a cookie cut cutter response or those little 30 second, uh, snippets of, of of whatever, and so you said you have this is your this is your second book, right? Um, so let let me address that just with one quick thing. At the end of writing that first novel that I never wanted to write, it was as if God said to me, "Okay, Bill, see you can write a book, you can write a novel." Now there's another story that you need to write. And I knew exactly what it was. I think that's fabulous. Um, I have to be, for me, I, I read very little, very little fiction. I, I'll read something of this caliber or, um, I mean, I don't want to sound snooty, but something like Shakespeare or something like that. But that. Either. Ted, my husband, usually takes care of the fiction for us. I do the non the nonfiction, which is pretty heavy. But the value to non uh, to fiction is that people can put themselves in a situation and role play, if you will, and practice the moral thinking and uh, considerations before being in the uh, challenge of the moment. And I, and I think another thing to recall in that, uh, in that respect is that one of the greatest storytellers that ever lived, Jesus Christ, told all kinds of what apparently are fictional stories we call them parables. And there's something about a story, a fable, something of that sort that can get at truth in a way that's difficult to in any other way. That's there, right. There's something that comes alive in uh, the telling of a story that when you hear it, it sticks with you and that truth can kind of continue to ferment in you. That is right. That is exactly right. All right, my friends, we'll pick up here in the next episode as we continue to explore book writing, uh, conversation of this in this particular book as well. Till then, my friends, fides, the ratio.